Yo, yo, what's up everyone? This is Kentonaka of Wish for Fish, giving you tips, bringing you on adventures, and taking you to the stream. I just got back from New York with Douglas Outdoors for their annual Douglaston Salmon Camp in Pulaski, New York. I just got to fish the Douglaston Salmon Run with a bunch of fantastic people, and let me tell you, if you're not familiar with this section, it is incredible. Uh, it is a private stretch, first two miles of the Salmon River. And I had the opportunity to fish the Salmon River many times when I was living in New Jersey. It was a much shorter trip. Matter of fact, I just drove 11 hours and 705 miles one way. And for the past two weeks, I've put on 5,000 miles on my car. That's enough to go from Greensboro to LA and back. Luckily, it's been well worth the trips. I got to catch my first muskie on the fly. If you haven't seen that video, you should check it out. But I also got to catch some salmon on the swing and those fish are beasts. So like I was saying, I was much closer when I was living in New Jersey, but I never really wanted to go to the Salmon River because of the combat fishing that you have to deal with. You're literally shoulder to shoulder with people and the people get kind of crazy over there. I've heard of people pulling knives and guns and like throwing people in the river. I've seen a video online where some dude just jumped in the water for a salmon. Uh, so I didn't want to have any part of that. But the DSR, on the other hand, is totally different. And another amazing part is, is that it's the first two miles of the river. So those fish come into that section hot. They still have that predatory instinct and they will absolutely smash a fly. Not to mention they'll take off on several runs and they're just jumping. It is absolutely crazy how powerful these fish are. Now you're seeing the edited version of these fights, but these fish would take at least 10 minutes to come in. Uh, obviously, I'm I'm not going to show you a 30 minute video for three catches, but they were just unreal about how strong they still are at this point. Now, once you go upstream, uh, they don't really take swung flies. Uh, that you, first of all, you're like shoulder to shoulder, so it's really hard to fight a fish anyway. They're not nearly as strong upstream, uh, let alone you really can't really fight a fish that well anyway when you're like shoulder to shoulder and people are fighting to get into your spot once you leave it. So. It's a disaster. I highly recommend DSR. Uh, if you're not familiar, you can go to the website and check it out yourself. I was pretty much using the DXF Spay the entire time. I did get to fish uh, some prototypes that they had, and I got to fish the new Sky Spay, which was an incredible rod. They were mostly taking glorified woolly buggers, uh, egg sucking leeches, and that kind of stuff. Uh, so it wasn't like they were taking anything fancy. We were mostly catching king salmon. Uh, I did see some coho, and uh, somebody caught a very, very nice steelhead. Matter of fact, I saw a crazy big bow and a, a brown, and it was an incredible fishery. I had an amazing time. I cannot wait to go back next year. So please enjoy swinging some flies for some salmon, and I'll see you on the water. Goodness, I didn't Woo! Yes! This is waterproof, right, Ken? 
<laughs> I was like, oh no! Already? Slab! Beast! What's up everyone? Thank you very much for watching. Please do go check out our website at wishforfish.com to keep up to date with what's going on with Wish for Fish as well as get some killer discounts and check out the Wish for Fish store for some sweet merchandise. If you're on Facebook or Instagram or other forms of social media, give us a follow at Wish for Fish. Most importantly, if you haven't subscribed already, please do because we're constantly updating new footage all the time so you can do so by clicking this right here. And if you're interested in seeing more, check out some of our other videos from this season's playlist. Thanks a lot everyone, and I'll see you guys in the water.